A very good morning. You are watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. I am Roy Thinasije and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We get started of today's bulletin from Kampala. Jolie Ngabirano, a sister of the former Internal Affairs Minister, General Arunda Nyakairima, has died. Ngabirano, wife of the former Uganda Coffee Development Authority Managing Director, Henry Ngabirano, died in Germany yesterday where she was undergoing treatment. The new vision is here to establish the cause of death. Henry who has been announcing his wife in Germany confirmed her death in a brief telephone conversation with the New Vision yesterday. Born to Yeremia and Gladys Nyakairima of Nyachiju village, Buyanja, in Rukunjiri district, Ngarano was the second born in the family of nine. The deceased was a partner of Cafe Pub, a company that runs a string of coffee shops. Ngarano and her partners launched into the coffee trade in April 2004 and Cafe Pub has been at the forefront of the business for over years. Ngabrano worked with Uganda Revenue Authority for six years before she left the organization to concentrate on private business. News coming in from Kabale District Drama Rock Bushoro Primary School in Kabale Municipality as a section of parents chased the head teacher from office accusing him of incompetence. The angry parents stormed the school premises on Thursday morning and kept on insulting the head teacher Adeo Sibiarhanga until he was forced to leave the office. They accused Biarhanga of misusing their parents teachers association funds that was meant to construct a nursery section at the school. Martin Kombozi, one of the parents, say they started collecting money since April last year to save their nursery children from attending classes from a single room, but since then, Berhanga has failed to complete the nursery section. Claire Omgisha said that even after paying the PTA charges, parents would still see their children chased from school by the head teacher. And we move on to Fort Porto Town. Old girls and well wishers of Chivambi Girls School will today gather at Mountains of the Moon Hotel in Fort Porto Town for a fundraising dinner aimed at raising funds towards the completion of a new chapel. The journey to construct the 1,500 seater chapel worth 3 billion shillings started in 2010 when the idea was born during the school's centenary celebrations. The school said teacher Night in Payure Kalu says the magnificent chapel has been constructed out of cheer commitment love and togetherness of the old girls parents and well wishes about 800 million shillings is needed towards the completion of the work according to Kalunji dinner tickets go to 100,000 shillings and can be got from the school selected old girls or from the get at the dinner venue the tourism ministry Palm Secretary Dorian Silva Katusime, one of the prominent old girls, will be the chief guest at the dinner. Finally, from Umbale District to please his brother, Wilfred Angeta, who supported him with school fees. Elidad Oyet worked hard and emerged best candidate in last year's UCE at Resilient High School in Umbale District with aggregates nine. Oyet, who scored distinction one in mathematics, chemistry, history, geography, commerce, agriculture, and Christian religious education, with distinction two in physics and biology with a credit in English wants to do a combination of biology chemistry mathematics at a level the UC Easter attributed his success to committed teachers discipline strict school administration and hard work with fellow students during his stay at school and that's all I had for you thank you for watching be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug I am Rothi Nasejeh